folks, BC7 here. How is everybody doing today? Welcome back to the channel. I have a really cool little city building game for you today. This is called 1849, built by a company called Soma Sim. And uh, it's got a really sort of unique little niche, not because of the time period so much, but the fact that it's a really easy city builder to pick up but has quite a lot of depth, but they sort of sneak it in there to the point where it works really well. Now you have a story mode and a sandbox mode. We're going to jump into a little bit of story mode here. I've played a couple just to get used to the game. Well, actually no. I've played a few scenarios because I played the first one and just couldn't stop myself from clicking the button again. So let's check the first one out. It's Novato. So. Uh, really pretty graphics, kind of cartoony, but they really suit. The background music is wonderful as well. So, this morning you crested the coastal range, set eyes on the Pacific Ocean looking around. You see forests teeming with huge redwoods and gushing with wildlife. Alright, I can't say as I've ever seen a wildlife gusher before, but there you go. Where others see obstacles, you see a land of opportunity. Well... They want us to build three homes, open a trade route to import lumber, and stockpile 20 hides, and then off them to the guys in San Francisco. We will do this. Here we go. I'm going to click the old pause machine here. Now, when you start out, you start out with a depot and a house. Well, that is a house, believe it or not. That kind of where you live and do your thing. You got your cooking pot and your stool and your bottle of wine and yeah. Anyway, and they start you with a tiny little square of land. Now in the, these little scenarios, this square gets larger. Eventually you don't, you're not locked to it, etc. But they start you kind of pinched in here. Up in this corner, we get our goals, which just read. So next to that, we have a financial advisor to let us know if we're doing good, if we're doing bad, and to give us a few hints and clues here and there. We also have a population advisor that sort of does the same thing. So he's telling us how many workplaces we have, none, but we have a population of three. So you don't want people wandering around, they'll get up to mischief. Down here shows us what we have in our depot. Currently, 100 meat, 10 hides, which gives us 100 food and no booze. Booze is not important yet, but will be very soon. This guy here is to open trade routes. Trade routes to buy goods, and trade routes to sell goods. On the other side, we have a bit of an options menu. allows you to restart your city, exit to the map, or exit to the main menu, and have a look at your cheese, because that's always really important. And last but not least, our building tool. Now in the original scenario, there's next to nothing here, as you can see, other than kind of neat stuff to put around. There's three pages of that. There's not a lot. There's a hunting camp, which they do want us to build, and that's about it. So they wanted us to build three houses. So let's drag two more houses down here. All right, and what we're gonna notice when we unpause this First of all, we currently have three people, but if we look up the road to our left, oh look, there's a couple guys and another guy, oh, and another guy, so we just got four more people. Ah, our three houses are finished. And you'll notice as we go along, they'll start to improve. There we are, they're the next step up. To keep improving though, you see it used to be just food, now they also want lumber. So, time we popped into our trade route, and had a look about getting a hold of lumber. Apparently, we can buy lumbers from our neighbors in Ukiya, or Yukiha, or wherever that is. However, you can't just do it. You have to pay for a trade route. In this case, $500. I have found as you progress in the game, 500 bucks is more than you generally pay for trade routes. But now we can buy lumber. Let's buy 50. There we go. Buy now. All right, and we'll see. A little wagon comes in. Click, 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 click. Stops at the depot, delivers our 50 lumber, and carries on. See ya. All right, 
And there you go. We've got our trade route open. We've imported lumber. And our shacks are continuing to grow, as you can see. Not bad, eh? So, the other thing they want us to do here is build ourselves a hunting camp so we can get some hides to trade to San Francisco. So let's throw that down there. Uh, yes, things do need to touch roads, and although this square is kind of small, you will eventually build roads, but roads are free. Just like houses. Houses and roads are free. So, what do we got going on here? We now have 10 lumber in stock, 10 hides, and 70 meat. We probably need some more of those, but we'll get to that. Now they want us to be selling hides to San Francisco. So again, open a trade route, 500 bucks, you buggers. And uh, we'll sell the 10 that we have. There we go. And a wagon will come in. Doo -doo -doo -doo. You can see the guy tanning hides down here, scraping them. Atta boy, work on them hides. I need 10 more ASAP. And there's our first 10 hides are off. Cool. Let's uh, just for something to do. Throw a couple more houses down here and get our population just a booming. <laughs> yeah, there's no reason we don't actually have enough uh, places to employ all these folks. But you see, 24. The reason you want lots of shacks, or as they become cabins, is because you get rent. That's how you get your income. Other than selling things, every single one of these people, as you see. Six people living in that shack, seven. They're paying us $40 a week to live there. So we have five of them. That's $200 a week we're making in rent now. So, as soon as we have enough hides, oh, we need two more, we can make our next sell to San Francisco. And that will pretty much finish the first scenario. The other thing you can do with buildings is upgrade them. For 500 bucks, we could buy a scout and production would go 15% faster. For 150 iron, we could buy advanced traps, but we don't have iron. So, let's do that. Upgrade our building. Now, that should give us enough hides. We now have 12. We need to sell 10. And there we go. We did build our three houses. Okay, we built five. We imported some lumber, and we sold some hides. And then they give you a score. Ta-da! Now moves you to the next scenario, etc., etc. So there you go. That's a bit of a look at 1849. As I say, there's a sandbox mode as well where it builds up. Now the first scenario, obviously, is just teaching you the real, real basics of how all this works. So there wasn't much depth, but it does get a lot deeper. It's currently selling for $14.99 on Steam, which is a heck of a good deal. And, uh, well... That's about all I can say about it. Good game. Doesn't seem to have any bugs. Didn't have any issues with it. Other than I did have to use Fraps to record it because my normal software does not work. So I'm not sure what sort of an engine this is done in. But anyways, guys, if you like the program, you like the series, help support it. Leave a like. Find that thumbs up button. Share it. Favorites. Subscriptions. All that happy stuff. Make me a happy guy. <laughs> Anyways, till next time, this has been Species 7 for 1849. Take care of each other, folks, and ciao for now.